Hi guys, well here we are today in Fusion 360 and we're going to continue with the injection motor machine build. In the last video we worked on the top plate and that was the last of the major pieces to the project. And now we've got to work on some of the more time consuming and tedious pieces. These are just the small odds and end pieces uh, to complete this project. In today's video, we're going to work on the push-pull toggle clamp flange. That was a mouthful. And that is this piece right here. So we have our push-pull toggle clamp, and we need this little flange here to apply pressure a little bit more evenly across uh, the mold up against the uh, backstop. So the push-pull toggle flange is a simple piece. It's just some two-inch round stock here it's a half inch thick it has this little step flange here and then this uh, hexagon or polygon pocket here for the uh, head of the bolt so I drew this up to machine out on the G0602 however it may just be as easy to machine this on my little small Harbor Freight 7x12 lathe uh, there's not that much going on here but for those of you interested there is a facing operation we have a roughing operation and then our finishing profile after we turn this we're going to move it over to the precision Matthews and we're going to finish this up so we have uh, several operations here uh, we're going to face off this front here we're going to drill these holes for the corners here we're going to come back and do an adaptive operation followed up by a finishing pass with the contour and then the last operation all with the same end mill is just a boring operation and that should complete our flange and you can kind of see how it's going to mount up this is just a jam nut here that mounts up to the uh, flange there's a bolt going through here that goes into this uh, the ram cylinder uh, like I said, uh, a lot of little odds and ends to kind of finish up here for this project. So we'll get started with this push-pull toggle flange. And then in the next video, we'll work on some of these other small turnings that we need to do uh, for the injection chamber. We have this piece here that we need to machine out. And we'll probably do that in the next video and then work on the funnel.
good. Now this one was without coolant, of course, so I could film it. So it is kind of warm. So that's one operation. Then we're going to clamp it on this piece, on this portion here, and I'm just going to get the OD dimension, and then we'll take it over to the mill and finish it up. All right, guys. So we got the part set up in a three-jaw chuck, and we're going to be uh, doing three operations. We're going to be doing some drilling, some adaptive, some uh, cylindrical boring, and then some. Uh, contouring so four operations all right so let's get started
Alright, let's see how the fit is. Oh, that's nice and tight. Perfect. Check the depth. Alright, that's going to be just, just fine right there. The head will be below the surface there, and uh, it's a good fit. Alright, so that turned out nice. Let's take it out, and then I'll uh, round off these corners here. I should have, I should have did that in the lathe, I guess, but I did that manually, and so I didn't think about it. All right, so let's get it out, get it mounted, and see what it looks like. Well, all right, guys, there you have it. Um, turned out really well. Um, fits nicely, and so that's going to leave us with a couple of inches I believe when this is fully locked that leaves us 2 and 13 sixteenths or so for a mold now in the original design Charlie had this adjustable with a couple of screws here so you could push this out and really get this nice and tight because there's no adjustment on this clamp it's just uh, you know Forcing it to the lock position is kind of keeping that clamped into place. So that may be necessary here. I was hoping that I could get away with just maybe making some shims. Try to keep my uh, mold standard size if possible and then make some kind of shims. Uh, eighth inch shim, quarter inch shim, whatever to get it to lock. We'll see if, if that works out. If not, then we'll remachine this with some uh, adjustments in there. But this is the uh, push-pull flange for the push-pull toggle. And uh, in the next video, we're going to continue working on little small pieces. Um, the injection chamber itself, we need to machine it. We also need to machine uh, a funnel. We need to do some stainless steel tube for our chamber. So we've got some internal threading coming up. Uh, I apologize. Um, for you, it's only been about three weeks since you saw one of my videos, but for me, it's been about six weeks because I had I had some videos ahead that I had scheduled, and now I am actually a week behind when I'm filming this. So, you know how life goes. Uh, summer came, vacation, and then I had uh, just some important jobs come up, and I had to machine parts, so, and then I've been working on a a couple of dozen different uh, things also working on some custom screens so it's just been kind of a mess trying to schedule even though this part was real simple and it only took a few minutes actually to make um, in reality it's it's taken me about six weeks well all right guys well that'll wrap up this video guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button also click on that notification bell that way when I post a new video like this one, if it's something you're interested in, you'll be notified and you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.